Welcome to Underground Crypto. It's the Underground Crypto back at it again. The big news for today. USDC is officially live on the Stellar Network. You've probably heard the news from other YouTube channels and on the internet. But USDC is now officially live. What they were doing before, they were doing a soft launch, testing everything out, working out the kinks. Everything is a go. So that's excellent news. So we're going to touch on that today. We're going to talk about that. Also, we're going to talk about the roadmap. And the roadmap came out for Stellar, came out four days ago, but there's a lot of, on the website, a lot of words. Hard to, hard to digest. So I've broken it down into a digestible view that we can see. So we're going to talk about the Stellar 2021 roadmap. Touch on the big news, USDC, now live on Stellar. And touch on a few other things. So that's our show for today. So let's dive into it. So before we get into the agenda, I just wanted to touch on a few things here. The last video with XRP, my apologies on that. In the video I recorded, I forgot to mention because I recorded the video twice. The first video didn't save, so I had to re-record it. And what we saw, what, what we saw there, the price was pumping up a few days ago for XRP. And it was a blatant pump and dump that they were planning. And I forgot to mention, watch out for the pump and dump. And what happened was FOMO. FOMO happened with XRP. I even got people telling me, hey, you have XRP, it's going to go to $4. I'm like, what, what, what? No, I sold my XRP. Let me go hurry up and get some XRP. So I was in a frenzy because of that. And... But I, I knew it was a pump and dump. But sometimes in the FOMO, you just, you're not thinking properly. And we, if we look at XRP for that day, we can see exactly building up on the 30th. This is, and then over the weekend, it was pumping. And then a huge dump. And this is one way that people are making profit spreading fake news, a big group, and then they pump it. Went all the way up to 73 cents. Now it's down to 35, 37 cents. So just look out for that. Stick with Stella, XLM, and you'll be safe. So that's one thing I wanted to touch on that. So my apologies there. The other thing is, when that was happening also, uh, I'm not sure if others felt that way as well, and we are seeing... Ethereum and Cardano. Cardano is another sleeping beast as well, now at 40 something cents. When that's happening, we're like, hey, what's going on with Stellar? What's going on with the sleeping giant? Why isn't it taking off? And if we look at if we look at 2017, 2018 Stellar, we can see here that there was not that much consolidation, not that much resistance. The rocket ship just took off. We could see here, it's at 26 cents and it dropped down and consolidated to 23 cents. And then the rocket ship took off all the way close to a dollar. And this year, that's not the case. This year, what we're seeing is one was at around eight cents, jumped to nineteen cents, consolidated down to thirteen cents, shot up. We were doing a test run for the moon at thirty six cents, back down again. So some people may be thinking, well, hey, what's going on? Why aren't we shooting up like we did back in twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen? And one of the reasons I think is if I go back here, is 
back then there was there were only less than 2000 cryptocurrencies back then wasn't really much defi going on back then right now we have over 8000 i think around 8300 cryptocurrencies sure there's more people in the space but there's so many different cryptocurrencies out there so many different ways you can make money from blockchain where back in 2017 2018 there were only a handful that were really doing it so the money just flooded in once the fomo started so we're going to get back to this 90 cents I think very soon a couple of months is my estimation but this is what we're going to see we're going to see pump consolidate pump consolidate pump pump we're going to shoot up so just wanted to touch on that in case you were losing a little bit of faith in hey what's going on with Stella the sleeping giant no worries but as a reminder you make sure not financial advice not a financial advisor make sure you're diversified you know you have your Stella the sleeping giant you have your old grandpa Bitcoin you have your master ETH broke 1500 Cardano Chainlink you have a mixed bag so if things are booming you're covered you know you have a nice hodl bag that's really moving and making you that money all right so let's jump into it here so we know usdc is now live on stellar and i mentioned there are five reasons why there'll be an explosion in february right so the first one as i mentioned Blockchain, Goldman Sachs, and others are coming into the space, spending billions, because we know we need Stellar to get to a market cap. I think it was around 26 million or so to get to where we need to be, close to a dollar. 26 billion. Right now it's at 7 billion, over 7 billion. Coinbase, number two, Coinbase filed, so more eyes on crypto. This whole SEC attempt to cripple Ripple, I'm not sure what's going on with that. That hasn't been settled. I thought you would have some resolution on that. That would clear the way for people that are nervous to purchase XLM because of that. So that's, that's still in question. SFD product roadmap. We're going to look at that. That's done. So checkbox right there. USDC live on Stellar in February. We have that. That's live. So that was another point there, number five. And Grayscale, we mentioned in the last video, assets under management, 14 million to 18 million for Stellar, Lumens. So that continues. So we are on track for the XLM explosion. And you have to be ready. And if I go back here, what defines XLM Rockstar? Forgot to talk about this. So XLM Rockstar, how I define it is, number one, you believe in Stellar XLM, Stellar Network. You're a strong backer. Number two... You understand what Stellar Network provides. And number three, you have a hefty bag ready for the moon on the rock. Looking up closer to the stars. XLM rock star. So that's how I define an XLM rock star. All right. So the big news for today. And before we get into the big news, Reminder, I'll be giving away another 100 XLM, so make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment. So next, is it next weekend? Or is it this weekend? I think it's this weekend. This weekend, giving away another 100 XLM. And reminder, check out the videos. 
And thank you for commenting, subscribing, liking. Check out the videos. Look for Dundeal Dixon. If you're taking a jog, well, it's snowing. So, I don't know, if you're taking a, a nap, listen to Dundeal Dixon. She'll motivate you to get some more Stellar Lumens. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about the roadmap. Before we talk about the roadmap, let's look at the big news for today. And it was kicked off with Circle launching on Stellar. Right, so exciting news. Now fully integrated across all Circle products. Stellar offers incredible speed and scalability and was built with the goal of creating equitable access to financial system. So this is exciting news. Exciting news. And uh, there was an article from Forbes. Six billion stablecoin USD lands on the Stellar blockchain. And that's their market cap right now, six billion. And if we look at I'm going to speak on a few items here just to highlight how awesome this is. So USDC Stellar launch comes after credit card giant Visa revealed in December it would connect its global payment network of 60 million merchants to USDC. Since then, the number of USDC tokens in circulation has doubled. So from Jeremy Allaire, he mentioned... Quote, we want USDC to be as broadly adopted as possible. Speaking over the phone ahead of the launch. And what Donnell Dixon mentioned, bringing a strong, stable asset to Stellar is crucial. We want to do cross-border payments as fast. Payments fast. This is going to help provide the scale. So this is awesome news. Awesome news. The Stellar Network has processed more than 1.5 billion total operations. It's thought that by using USDC on the Stellar blockchain, transaction, transactions will be faster and cheaper than on Ethereum. So this is big news. The sleeping giant, which can have slow transaction speeds and high transaction fees. So Ethereum, which is over 1,500, slower than the sleeping giant. So this is exciting news, exciting news. All right, so now the roadmap. And we can see they're starting off big with the roadmap with the USDC Live. And as I mentioned, the roadmap was pretty wordy. But what I did, I took some time to put together a roadmap, a visual roadmap that you can better digest. So we're going to go through it. So Essentially, what they have is three pillars. Three pillars which they stand on. This is what Danelle Dixon mentioned in her 2019 Meridian speech. And the first pillar is support robustness. So the first highlight of support robustness and usability, or milestone, I should say, support the top use cases being built on Stellar. So what this means is Horizon Stellar Network complete a prototype of lever layer two technology that is a bridge between Stellar and other technologies, such as private ledgers or side nets. What they aim to do here is have transaction growth five times larger. So that's what they aim to do there. The second milestone as part of pillar one, invest in the safety and resilience of core and horizon these are the, their, their servers here. So invest in technical and procedural changes that make the network ever more safe and resilient. Milestone three, improve liquidity on the Stellar network. So what this means is explore whether and how to improve liquidity through proposals such as automated market makers and additional integration with U UTC liquidity solutions. So a lot of great things that we see here with Pillar 1. Pillar 2, help Stellar be the blockchain people know and trust. And this is what, since Danelle Dixon's been there, this is what she's been saying over and over again. Be the blockchain people know and trust. And with SEC, with banks, with regulators, you want to be the company, the blockchain that they trust. When they trust you, they do business with you. 
the word spreads. So pillar two, increase awareness, visibility, national, international, market to business, developers, regulators, policymakers. So a lot of milestones, highlights here. So I'm going to talk through the first one, marketing. So they're big on marketing in 2021. So market stellar and its top use cases to broaden awareness and drive the ecosystem expansion. So that is definitely big because with marketing, more people are aware of it. Number two, advocate for the development of legislation that will help create stability for blockchain. So what this is is creating equitable access to the global financial systems, educations, partnerships with governments, and advocacy for legislation. Number three, bring additional part participants to the Stellar Network with the Stellar Enterprise Fund. And we've seen this already where they've used it with getting wire. And what they're planning to do is invest in at least one enterprise per quarter. And we've already seen, I think they have over $9 billion worth of lumens to, to, to utilize that, to invest. So that's going to generate network effects. So that's huge. So potentially one or even two partnerships, investments. Number four, build strong relations with technology consultant firms. So building formal partnerships with at least 10 consultant firms. And these are firms that are specifically in blockchain and cryptocurrency. So they're just building a strong web, a strong network. Number five, support the ecosystem with events that bring enterprise together. So that's hosting at least four events each quarter. So that's amazing. So they're going to keep us connected. Amazing. Number three, pillar three, focus on cross-border payments and secure, securitized assets. So what the, the, the key words here are deliver products, services, long-term growth, sustainability, clear value, demonstrate success, and highlights here are number one, grow use cases with a focus on scalable network effects. Number two, grow vibrant by expanding the user base, adding at least one new market and two additional product features. So continue to grow the product base for vibrant. Continue to grow the Stellar Network. Number three, ecosystem to increase relevant transactions by 5x. So grow the ecosystem. Open at least four new payment corridors on onboarding anchors. So more transactions. That's how they're going to get to that 5x. Number five, onboard partners for cross-border payments on Stellar remittances, and business payments in high-friction corridors and global access to financial services, such as USDC savings, investing in securities, and other tokenized assets. So this is the roadmap with pillars one, two, and three. So hopefully this more visual look at the roadmap, you could better digest there and better appreciate it. All right. So XLM Explosion. In February, are you excited? Let me know. Also, let me know if you are an XLM rock star. Got the moon suits by the bedside, helmet ready. All right. That's a wrap for today. Thanks a lot for commenting, subscribing. Stand clear of the closing doors. The next stop for Stella is the moon. Let's get it. We don't have that much competition. They would use Stellar to make their payments faster.